Well, hey there, everyone, and welcome to another MCC Moment. My name is Pastor Matt, where in just a short couple of minutes, I'm going to give a quick rundown of what I spoke about last Sunday morning. But behind me, we are very, very excited about uh, some of the plans and some of the concept drawings of our Let's Build This campaign in order to renovate our existing building. And we are super keen to hear what you think of it. So uh, if you can uh, tune in to our Sunday service, you'll see a QR code and a link in there and uh, you can uh, fill out the survey form online or alternatively, please come on Sunday morning and uh, take a look. We've got all the drawings on display and uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts on it. We're so excited about it because man, this building, it served us well for quite some time, but it is time for an upgrade. Now, speaking of an upgrade, Psalm 91 says this, it says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Well, there's a few things about shadows. When it's really, really hot, the shadow is like a welcome relief from heat. When it's raining, the shadow, we well, are not far away from finding shelter in a shadow, are you? And the other thing is this, is that you're hidden away. And you see, that is the most amazing thing about being a follower of Jesus Christ, is that we are hidden away in him. You see, Psalm 46, 10 we spoke about and we talked about last Sunday. Psalm 46.10 says, Be still and know that I am God, and I will be exalted among the nations, and I will be exalted in the earth. You see, there's this sense of abiding, abiding in God. <clears throat> that means to rest in him, be found in him, be continually mindful of what God is doing. And you see, in that, what happens is we are in his shadow. We are covered in him. And this sense of abiding presence is just so extraordinary to our day to day life. Why? Well, that it means actually that no matter what we face, no matter what we go through, no matter what we are walking through, then what happens is he is always with us. He is always covering us. Psalm 91 actually talks about that we'll have protection, that we'll uh, be saved from certain destruction. You can check it out and read it for yourself. But this sense of abiding presence, this abiding nature of being hidden in God, uh, being found in him, being covered in him. And then it goes on to say that God said he would be exalted because we take the time to abide with him, to be still in him. And in this noisy world with lots of social media and lots of things happening around us and building plans and all sorts of things that need to take place, um, in that it's important to just stop and be still, be found in him and know him completely. Well, I hope that's been encouraging for you and certainly helpful. Get into Psalm 4610, Psalm 91. It'll be such an encouragement to you as you go about this week. We we'll look forward to seeing you this coming Sunday, 10 a.m. or 9.30 for the prayer meeting. Good on you. See you soon. Bye.